This dam existed in 1970, was, was uh, first built in 1970, and then it uh, fell a bit into disrepair. And um, uh, there were people from the irrigation uh, extension workers that came here to help them repair the dam on and off until 1985, and then nothing. And then they didn't receive any help from the government from 1985 until 2005. And they started basically maintaining it a bit on, on their own means. And uh, they went back a bit into subsistence and just selling very little uh, parts of rice, but organizing themselves as families and just amongst their own informal structures. And in 2005, they heard that there were some programs of assistance amongst them PSDR and they decided to form an association to repair the dam and to receive uh, some assistance from the project. And they went to Majanga, they organized themselves, formed the association because they heard that they could only receive assistance as an association. So they formed the association and they took the initiative to enter Majanga and request the project themselves. And so they did. They went, requested the project, they received the assistance and um, and that's it. They're quite happy. They went from uh, 100 and uh, I think 50 hectares to 275 hectares of cultivable area, rice area. Um, I don't know how much yield increase they've received, but perhaps Olivier can tell you. <laughs> uh, the, the, the yield did, didn't increase by itself, but the, 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 the uh, normal yield is around one and a half ton by hectare. Uh, this project is a is a project uh, financed by uh, by the gas government and uh, by uh, World Bank. So uh, we uh, we help the farmers, not the gas farmers, to to, imp uh, to improve. Uh, their uh, life. We have helped the uh, Water Resources Association mm -hmm. uh, rehabilitate this uh, small dam and uh, irrigate uh, some uh, 285 hectares and uh, that would allow them to intensify What you can see here is, is rain-fed rice, and the idea is to crop rice, and uh, this 
rice field can be flooded. Bon, cette plaine va être irriguée donc par euh, de l'eau qui, qui est piégée par le barrage. Parce qu'il y, y a des clapets sur le barrage et que quand la rivière monte, l'eau entre mais elle, elle ne peut plus revenir là où elle vient. Euh, elle vient. Donc euh, l'eau sera gardée ici et c'est là que les paysans vont commencer à cultiver. Il y a les défrichements, le fait de brosses. S'il y a beaucoup de projets comme ça pour l'aménagement hydroagricole, ça peut diminuer les, les pressions sur la forêt et l'environnement. Ouais. C'est un bon projet, c'est pas mal. Avec la, le PSDR et la Banque mondiale, si nous arrivons à faire beaucoup comme ça, ça peut diminuer la pression. Les banques mondiales, les banques qui restent à Pirénée, nous aussi, c'est ça. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison,